Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block. Well, well, well. It is a beautiful day, beautiful Sunday morning to you, wherever you are. I know in Africa it's already in the morning, so you are in a. It's a very good day for me here in Southeast Asia. We are already in the afternoon. By you, you are just about to get up from bed, or you are up from bed. I'm happy. I'm excited because at least we got a win. <laughs> yes, we got a win. You know, the, the first, the last video you received was about the post-match reaction of the coach. Yeah, the post-match reaction of the coach and Ben Chiwa. You saw them, they spoke. And what do you think? What do you make of what the coach said? There were a few things that I pick up from what he said in post-match reaction. To be honest, one of the things that he said, which we are going to be digesting, he said something happened before the match that affected the game. <laughs> Something happened before the match that affected the game. What is it that took place before the match that affected the game? Was there a fight in the dressing room? Did the owners come to the dressing room and give them warning? Or, or, or was, was Pochettino giving warning? that, Or maybe he was being told before the game, this is your last chance. If you lose this game, you are in trouble. Poch, is that what destabilized him? What actually, what took place in the dressing room before the game? What exactly happened? This is a question we are asking right now. As a Chelsea fan, I'm very much concerned. When our coach comes out to say that an incident took place before the game, which affected them. He didn't say affected him. But he said affected the team in general. Affected everyone. Include, that means that the coaching staff, the medical staff, the players, the entire playing body. It affected them. Dear friend, do you understand what I'm saying? If you, if you want to, you can listen to the coach. Go back and play that video over and over again. The video I posted earlier on from the coach. He said, an incident, something happened that affected the performance. We would like to know. And it is, it is our job. As journalists, as reporters, and as fans and supporters, we are demanding Pochettino come again. What happened? I'll give you a clue. But before then, let me hold on with that first. Nine goals in 17 Premier League games for Copama since he joined Chelsea. Yeah, nine goals in 17 Premier League games for Copama since he joined Chelsea. Five penalties out of five scored from the spot in the Premier League this season. Copama for you there. Five penalties scored this season out of five. That means that all the penalties that he took, he scored. It's called. Now, Pochettino also gave one clarification. He said, what note in Pochettino clarified he wasn't asking for a striker yesterday. He accepted Gusto could have been sent off and said something happened before kickoff that disrupted his side early in the match. No, I don't know what it was. He now says he doesn't know what it was. No, I don't know what it was. We must know. The first thing he said, he accepted. Gusto could have gotten a red. Yes, we all know. If they were to check VAR. Actually, it was not a high stamping. The leg, he, 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 you know, he didn't intentionally. The purpose, he was not in rush. I don't know how to put it. I, I believe that the referees, they watched it from different angles. They saw the intention, the reaction and everything. It was not that... Uh, uh, Malagusto purposely went in for the tackle that we know. He didn't go in for a bad tackle. He was just unfortunately they step, they step on he stepped on the guy's uh, uh, ankle. It's just by mistake. He was he didn't go for him. He didn't go. He was really going in for the ball. Unfortunately, the guy this, the guy's leg was just at the same time because the, he was not rushing for anything. Also, so that one we agreed. Another referee would have given a red for that. And hey, Anthony Taylor's performance yesterday. What do you think, Chelsea fans? You know, we are, I think yesterday he did pass the test. Yeah, you know, when he favors us, we always say he passed the test. But if he doesn't favor us, assuming he gave that red yesterday, we would have said, oh, he was too, ra he was too harsh on Malogusto. He was too harsh on Malogusto. Right? That is football for you, my dear friend. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Now, coming back to the main issue. Pochettino, something happened before the game that I can't explain, but it impacted the team. Something happened before the game 
that I can't explain, but impacted the team. Dear friend, let's go back to it again. What exactly impacted the game? What exactly happened before the game that impacted the team? I need you to tell me there because I'm going to be giving you a clue. I spotted Frank Lampard, which is evidently here. It's very, it's very, it's, it's here. The evidence is here. Frank Lampard was in the, in the box, VIP box there. Frank Lampard was on the, at the VIP box there with Todd Bowley. As you can see them there. Frank Lampard and Todd Bowley at the VIP box. Super Frank back at the bridge. Let me ask you, are we yet to see, are we going to be seeing another interim manager before the summer? And is Frank Lampard going to be the rightful person? This is, this is a conversation you need to start talking about because Frank Lampard in the box with Todd Bowley. And not just that. Look at this one also. Paul Wynn Stanley. We are seeing him also with Paul Wynn. One of the recruitment directors also there at the bridge. Are we yet to see, are we going to be seeing another interim manager? This is a question. What is it that happened? Is it that the presence of Frank Lampard, that is the Portugal was referring to, did they have any hint? Was there any announcement made to them, to the team or to him, the coach, that if you lose this game, you are getting a sack? You can see Frank Lampard here at the bridge is with us. And any mistake you are going, is it what he's talking about? Because you can see Frank Lampard. Let's, let's join the issues together. Frank is right there. Frank Lampard is right there at the bridge yesterday, last night. And the coach is coming out to say something happened that he cannot explain. That impacted the game. <clears throat> that is not just all. Pochettino faced some queries about the statement he made on Friday, which we all heard it, but he came out to say that that is not what he meant. What did he say? He said, I never said we needed a center forward. After that, it created it create a problem with me and my people. Create a problem with you and which people? He said that statement created a problem with him and his people. Created a problem with you and which people? The directors and the owners. Are you getting something here? He said, I didn't say that yesterday in my press conference that we need another striker. I said we are working like another club to assess and see the market for different situations that can appear. But I can't remember, I can't remember very well. He said they need another, you know, he put it in a way, goal scorer. He said they need another goal scorer. He didn't use the word striker. They need another goal scorer. He said they are going to assess uh, Christopher Nkuku's situation. If he will not be fit for the games ahead, then they will need another goal scorer. He didn't use the word striker. He said the most important thing is the club is ready to act in another direction. But I never said we need another player to add another player in the squad. You see, there is a problem. This issue will not end it here. My next episode will elaborate more because I want to get more information on this. And I shall be back. I will see you when you see me, dear friend. What happened before, Poch, before the match that Poch complained about? We need to answer that question. He's just, for me, I knew that he was just lucky that that penalty goal came in. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. A very good morning to you. Enjoy the day. As it, it is right now, we've won. Yes, we are now on the eighth position. We were targeting seventh position. But we are at eight positions because we score only one goal. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.